What is up guys? IDG here. And I'm here doing some Zer today. He is inside the whole crucible area. Just hanging out today. Hanging out down here. What's up, bud? He's got some some pretty good stuff actually this week. So, Titans. He's got Ruin Wings with Intellect Discipline with the Paramuscle Armature and Impact Induction with Hand Cannon Loader and Rocket Launcher Loader, which isn't bad. The exotic perk is Seeds of Ruin. Heavy ammo drops more often and contains more ammo in each drop. That perk is really good. What it does is for PvE, it just has a higher chance for heavy ammo to drop. And I can get when I have more machine gun ammo and I use machine guns and I have some machine gun rolls on mine. So whenever I get some machine gun ammo, it gives me 98 ammo on estimate per heavy ammo pickup, which is really good for raids, really fun for strikes. And for rocket launchers and swords, it's pretty nice. So definitely pick these up if you guys are titans looking for some PvE exotics. Something like the raid. Hunters, you have Mask of the Third Man, which has intellect discipline, inverse shadow, heavy lifting, with invigoration. The exotic perk is uns unstable current which Arc Blade uses less super energy, gives you about one to two more swings on your Arc Blade, which is not terrible. It was one of the only Hunter Arc Blade exotics, now that Tarantella is out. Tarantella is a little bit better, and in year one, the Lucky Raspberry was better, but if you want to use a Blade Dancer exotic, and you have your helmet spot open. This isn't bad. Gives you about one to two more swings, as I said. Warlocks, you have Light Beyond Nemesis. This is a great perk. This is a great helmet. I'm just gonna say that right off the bat. Has intellect and strength, ashes to ashes, heavy lifting, with inveration. I believe that, probably just butchered that name as usual. The exotic perk is Keeper of the Pack, which is reviving fallen teammates and be revived faster. Super generates an extra orb. So what this is going to do is your super is going to generate one more orb. So I think it takes it from seven to eight or eight to nine orbs and you revive your teammates faster. This is a gr great trials. It's pretty fun for like raids, strikes, nightfalls. It's a really good Warlock helmet. If you are doing trials with some friends and you are a Warlock and you have a Titan and a Hunter, it's better to have the Titan and the Hunter have the crest, in my personal opinion, so you can have that trials helmet so you can get bonus super energy when reviving. So if you're doing something like trials or skirmish, you only need two players wearing either Light Beyond Nemesis or Crest of Loopy to get the fast res. You guys don't know that. So if you guys don't have this and you're playing Warlock or if you guys have a Warlock and you guys play Trials, definitely pick this up. It's a great exotic. We have an exotic weapon this week which is the Truth Rocket Launcher which has proximity and some pretty good velocity well not that great velocity really good blast radius with some void burn and it's got prototype true seeker as an exotic perk round fire from this weapon seek their targets aggressively this rocket has the most ridiculous tracking out of anything it's a really good rocket launcher a lot of people switch to it in trials i'd say if you don't have a trials rocket launcher definitely pick this up it's a really good exotic it's not bad personally i use a Soros jlb with a tyco knot for my titan 
and just a Searles JLD because I like it and I don't have a Switch. But it's up to you guys. Our legacy engram for the week is heavy weapon engrams. So if you guys want to go get a Galahorn, or if you want to even get a year one truth so you can use an exotic shard, even though it's cheaper to just buy it here. Or if you guys want a Dragon's Breath, super good advice, or a Thunderlord, that's what his name is. You can buy this and it'll give you a year one, it can give you a year one version and you can use an exotic shard and some glimmer to buy a year two version at 280 light if you guys don't have it. But it is 31 strange coins, so good luck with that. And then he always has his normal, his normal stuff. Pretty good loot this week, actually. Thank you, sir. Not bad. Alright, guys. I will see you next week, and I will see you in the Iron Banner.